year is 1888. The place is Melbourne, but not the Melbourne we know, an alternate Melbourne, where steam is king, where life is hard, and where children, alone in the world, are at great risk. Come with me into this other world, where familiar things are strange, where life is different, yet the same, but where adventure is always adventure. Come with me to the skipping girl home for wayward and homeless girls, where the Delamorte sisters live in harmony with each other in this homely and caring environment. <laughs> Got ya! Aha! Our adventure is about to begin. Come along! Come along! If you're brave enough. <laughs> Delamorte, come here, girl. You must go to the market and buy new ribbons for the girl's hair. I think they deserve a little treat. Make sure you get my cogs worth. You hear me? Of course, Mrs. Crotchet Smythe. But, Mrs. Crotchet Smythe, we always go together to the market. Silence! You Delamorts always stick together as tightly as a fresh casket. I chose Abigail because her hair is always neat and tidy. And you, Beatrix, should be ashamed of that mangled mop on your head. I can still go, can't I? My hair is tidy. Oh, my head feels like it's a pressure chamber with a rusty valve. Uh, Abigail is going and that's final. You two, get back to work and stop your whining. Beer. <laughs> oh, oh my head. <sighs> She's as mean as a haunted machine. I know for a fact that the soldiers are in town this week. I really, really wanted to see them. I've heard that the floppers can throw anyone in there that they want. No trial or anything. What are you two sprockets doing here? Have you seen any soldiers? What are you looking at, love? Never seen such a beauty before. Go back, Beatrix. You'll get us all into pistons or trouble. Zara! <gasps> Zara! Get off that evil machine! The floppers might throw you in it. I can't think of anything worse than being put into such a monstrous device. Well, I don't have any sympathy for people who don't do the right thing. I've got to go and get the ribbons. Fetch Zara and come along. But you want to be on your own, don't you? You go. We'll meet you at the cable car stop. <laughs> Hey, Prida, when you come to see the amazingly talented Kogli, the mathematical monkey, you can ask Kogli any question and he'll calculate the answer correctly. Simply slide the feet here and he will reveal the answer you seek. Marvel of modern technology, huh? What is it? How does it work? Can I try? Oh, please! Why, hello, my inquisitive little sprocket, eh? <laughs> uh, you'll be an inventor one day, eh? I have no doubt. <laughs> now, you may look, but be careful. Hmm? Hold on now, careful! <gasps> oh, clumsy little creature! I've a good mind to call the floppers to take you to the carousel. <laughs> yeah, come here! What? You can't do that. What's going on? <laughs> Let my sister go! I'll do what I want. She's a useless a little fumble of thumbs. I have a right, you know. Wait up there, Master Toy Seller. Not so rough. Here is your toy. 
There is no harm done. You should unhand the young one. Now. Ah, yes, sir, Lieutenant. <laughs> no harm done. <laughs> now you sprock to be gone. I don't want to see you again, huh? Thank you, Mr... Lieutenant Pasha Dmitrikov, first class, from St. Petersburg in faraway Russia. Hello, um, Mr... Greetings, Lieutenant. Uh, I'm Beatrix, and this is my little sister Zara. Oh, you're from England. That's right. Thank you for helping. I mean saving Zara just now. <laughs> That was entirely my pleasure, Miss Beatrix. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now you two had better run along. Great cogs and whistles. Yes, it's time to meet Abigail. <gasps> Could I ask a favor, Mr. Soldier, sir? <laughs> To be. You're late. And who is this? This is Lieutenant Dimitrikov. <gasps> yes, yes, he saved me from being sent to the carousel. Oh, you exaggerate, little inventor. It was a pleasure to meet you, Miss Abigail. Yes, well, that's all very well, but we have to get going. Good day, sir. So soon? Where are you going? May I call on you? We live at the Skipping Girl home and we have Sunday afternoons free. <laughs> <laughs> I will be there. <gasps> oh, good afternoon, ladies. Have you had a lovely time? Get inside immediately! <laughs> <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Hello, young Miss Beatrix. <sighs> ah, Miss Abigail. <gasps> All of these are for me? Yes, Miss Abigail. Would you like to take a walk with me? Beatrix? Just me. <sighs> How was your afternoon, Abigail? It was lovely. Pasha is such a gentleman. So sophisticated. A man of the world. We walked and we talked. Mm. What about? Oh, you know, adult things. The latest inventions, the war, life in the army, his homeland. Are you all right, Beatrix? Yes, of course. Why wouldn't I be? Your levers just seem a little out of whack to me. I'm fine.
I look awful. Oh, oh. Beatrix, did you do this? not over. I'll see to you later. Um, Girls, cease work. The inspector of homes will be arriving in a minute for an inspection. Come and pick up a nice new ribbon for your hair and arrange it neatly. Abigail Delambert, your hair is a disgrace. <gasps> what were you thinking, girl? You are banned from the inspection. <gasps> oh, you're not so special anymore, are you? To bed. No, dear. <laughs> How does Crotchety Smythe pass inspection every time? It's Francis theme for its eye bed. Oh, what's wrong with your nickety knack sister? So she's not top cog anymore. So no need to spring a leak about it. Right. I'll be off then. is gone. Mm, what do you mean, gone? I've searched her home from Pulley to Sprocket. She's not here. She's run away. Oh, my Giovanni. We have to find her. <gasps> Are you looking for Bay? Hmm. What did you do to her? She ran out of here a few minutes ago, really hysterical, crying and mumbling fit to confabulate a set of pistons. Oh, do you mean? Well, that's right. Up and over the fence. Heading to the cable car, I'd reckon. <gasps> she must have a huge case of regrets, Abby. Put herself in here, you know. Gotta come loose, that one. Come out of there, you silly steam puff. It's all right. I'm so sorry, Abby. It'll grow again. Yes, at one inch per month, your hair will grow back in under a year. Good morning, my beautiful friends. Abigail. Your hair. Bitch, ow! Oh, I felt like a change. Abigail, I'm glad I found you. <sighs> I have to say goodbye. My regiment is leaving immediately for the front. <gasps> wow, that's stoking. Will you get to fight? Do you get to use the new spring-loaded dragon baller? <gasps> Can I come? My beautiful Abigail, I will be back. Please, say you will write to me. Of course. We all will. This is Abigail's. For you to keep. Thank you. I will keep it close to my heart. Let's go home. 
Well, that's all very sweet. But what will happen next to the Delamort sisters in this dangerous world? Cogs go round, gears grind, and the world changes again. Valves are popping! Watch out for the next Delamort sisters steampunk adventure. You wouldn't want to miss it. Thank you.